Welcome back. So first, let's talk about the bridged network mode. In this mode, VMs can directly connect to the outside world. And the outside world treats your virtual machine as an independent entity equal in rights to the host machine. This is made possible because VirtualBox uses a device driver on your host system that filters data from your physical network adapter. This driver is called a net filter driver. This allows VirtualBox to intercept data from the physical network and inject data into it, effectively creating a new network interface in software. So what the outside world sees is the new network interface. So when a guest is using such a new software interface, it looks to the host system as though the guests were physically connected to the interface using a network cable. The host can then send data to the guest through this interface and receive data from it. This means that you can set up routing or bridging between guest and the rest of your network. Now let's see how this happens. This is my um, drawing. So let's say this is your um, host interface, I mean the host network adapter. You connected the Ethernet cable to your modem and your modem is connected to the internet. Now what will happen in bridge networking is that it, your virtual machine's network interface will be treated as a separate network interface on your network. So your modem will think that this is a separate entity. Your host will also think this is a separate entity. But they will think these are two different network interfaces, right, on the host computer. So your host network card will get an IP address from the modem. Your virtual machine network interface will also get an IP address from the modem. And if you so choose, you can set up routing between these two. Now let's have a look at how it works out in the actual world. On this virtual machine, I have set up a bridged adapter on my Dell wireless card. And I have the cable connected. Now. If I go to the virtual machine, and I go to terminal, I can type in ifconfig here to get the interface configuration and I can see my interface has been given an IP address 192.168.1.188 and net mask 255.255.255.0 and my broadcast is 192.168.1.255 what that means is that any IP address between 192.168.1.1 and 192.168.1.254 will be in the same network as my virtual machine. Now, if I open my command prompt, and if I type in ipconfig slash all, I can see that my Wi-Fi adapter has been given an IP address 192.168.1.161 and subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and my default gateway is 192.168.1.1 so what's happening here is if we go back to our drawing this is dot 161 this is dot 188 
and this is dot one. So now these three devices should be able to communicate with each other. So let's test that. So first going to the machine, we'll try and ping the default gateway first. That works. Now let's try and ping the host computer. This works as well. Now let's try and ping So I can ping google.com. So I have connectivity to internet as well. Now going back to my host machine, I should be able to ping my virtual machine. So this is how easy it is to set up bridge networking. This concludes this video. I will see you in the next video. Bye.